Welcome to this introduction to collaboration inside of vSpatial. We're really excited to introduce this to you. I'm going to go through the tutorial that's available inside of vSpatial. If you want to review this tutorial anytime, you can get to go to your tablet, click on the More button, and click the little I button to open the tutorials again. All right, let's go ahead and jump in. So, a collaboration inside of vSpatial is connected with your Slack account. When you first log into vSpatial, you'll have a way to connect with your Slack account. And once you log into it, you'll be able to then see on your tablet a little person down here and a list of all your team members. If a team member is in vSpatial and active, they have their headset on, you'll be able to see them right here with their names and a little V next to them. If they're active in Slack but not in vSpatial, it shows green. And if they're not active in Slack at all, it's gray. All right, let's move to the next one here. In order to, you can also click on the little gear button on the top right hand side of your tablet that will let you see your own profile. Um, if you don't have a picture there, you can go into select and upload a picture and, um, on the profile section. It will automatically pull that over into vSpatial for you. To initiate a meeting with others, you'll click the little phone button on the right hand side and then there'll be a little plus button next to people if you want to add multiple people. You can add up to four people in this initial version of vSpatial down here. And then you click the little green invite button to initiate the call. You'll hear a ringing sound and then you'll, the people will show up above this area right here, above the uh, carousel in this middle area, you'll see your people. And we'll, we'll do this in a moment here so you can see what that looks like. When you're inside of a meeting, you can share any of your screens. So if I pull down one of these screens over here, um, I have a little share option that I can check on. And then the other members of the team will be able to click on it and pull the carousel down into their own, their screen down into their carousel to look at it. You can turn that on and off with the little share button that shows up in the on hover when you are inside of a meeting. Um, inside of the meeting as well, when um, there's other participants share their own screens with you, you'll see it right next to their face above there. You'll see a little screen here. And if you want to pull that down in, you just point at the, at the shared screen and click the little trigger button, this one, or you can click the A button down here as well on your hand grip, and it will pull that into the carousel for you. Um, you'll see also to the left of the meeting, there's an icon for leaving, a red icon, which shows up over here. It shows you how long you've been in the meeting and there's a microphone that you can click on and off. In addition to the microphone, you can also use the Y button on your left controller to mute and unmute yourself in the meeting. We find that very useful when you're in a meeting and talking with others. Um, this is just a reminder again that you can get back to this by clicking the more button and the little info there. All right, let's close this out and let's go ahead and initiate a meeting with some of our teammates. So I'm gonna click down here on the little button. I'm already logged in and I, you can see I've got a couple of teammates on. Let's go ahead and give them both a call here. So if I hover over G Cooper, that's Gordon, I'm going to hit the little call button and I want to also call Mitch. I'll call him at the same time. But we're going to go ahead and invite them into this meeting. You can hear that little ringing sound here. You can see that the meeting is starting over here and as soon as the other participants join, you'll see them here. Hey Mitch. Hey Gordon. How are Hello. you guys today? Good. Good. How you well, doing? Good. Thanks for joining me. I'm doing a, a little demo showing off what we can do with our application here. No, all all right. Excellent. Maybe if you guys could uh, first off uh, just tell us where you guys are at because we're all three in different areas of the United States and it's kind of neat to get in a meeting like this. Mitch, sure, you want to go, go first? first? Yeah, thank you. I live in the uh, su most southern part of the state of Utah in a little town. Perfect. Gordon? I'm in uh, the heart of Salt Lake City, Utah. That's wonderful. I'm, I'm in Texas. So all three of us, one of the neat things about meetings inside of virtual reality is that it really feels like you're all together, as opposed to traditional video conferencing where you kind of have a little screen that you're looking at through your computer. When you're in a room like this, it really feels like you're with the participants. And we've, we've tried to add some features inside of our meeting to make it so that um, it really feels like it's immersive as well. So like, for example, when Mitch talks, go ahead and say something, Mitch. Hello, how are you? You'll see that that little bar shows up around his head there that kind of shows us that he's speaking. In addition to that, there's some spatial audio that's really neat inside of virtual reality so that if we turn one way or the other and people are talking, it sounds like they're coming from that direction. It really uh, makes meetings quite immersive. So 
One of the other features that's really great about meetings, um, as I mentioned before, is the ability to share. So Mitch and Gordon, if you guys could share a couple screens with me, I'll go ahead and share some screens with you guys as well. So I'm going to pull these screens down into my carousel. And as I mentioned, if you just hover over the top, you'll see there's that little share button right there. I'm going to go ahead and share this one instead. I'll click the share button and I'll go ahead and share this one as well. So as you know, in trad traditional video conferencing, you can only share one screen at a time and often you have to you have to supersize it in order to see things and then you can't see anything else. Well, what's nice about meetings in virtual reality is you have all this space to work with. So you can see Gordon shared a couple of screens with me and Mitch has as well and I've shared some of my screens. Now these screens are updating. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and um, just stop sharing mine so we can see some of the other ones that, that Mitch and Gordon are sharing. And I'm gonna just pull down, uh, one, I'm gonna pull down your, your PowerPoint presentation, Mitch. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and Okay. Point at that, and I, as I click the trigger button, it will come down into my carousel. And then this functions just like a regular screen that I can move around, I can put up into my visor, I can pull it back down. And Mitch, if you want to just switch around to a different screen or something to show us how that kind of updates. Well, I'll go ahead and just type some text in here. How about that? All right, that sounds great. There you go. Insert. Okay, text box. Perfect. You can see there that it's making a text box and Mitch is just um, making changes to that. And I can see his changes in real time. Um, while he's typing that, I'm gonna pull down um, the, uh, Gordon, I'm gonna pull down your screen that is a browser window there. Looks like the news. Okay. And why don't yep. you just make some changes to that? Okay, I'll just scroll through this article here. You know, you can see he's kind of moving through all that and it keeps it updating. It's kind of nice because I can have both Mitch's screen open over here on the right. And then I can see also anything that Gordon's going on with. And then if I want to reference my own material, I can just pull it down here as well. So you can begin to see that we have all sorts of information that's being shared across, um, uh, across us, no matter where we're at. It really makes it feel like we're in the same place together with one another. So pretty neat. Um, all right, guys, thanks for sharing that with me. You guys can stop sharing if you want. You know, um, it lets me kind of keep those shared items with me. And when they stop sharing, and we can share up to four different screens at a time, you'll see like Gordon stopped sharing and it stopped showing up over there. Um, one of the nice things you can see here too, that Gordon has muted himself right now. And we can kind of see an indicator for that underneath there as well. As we mentioned, there's the microphone right there that I can turn on and off with. And then we can also use the shortcut. So. All right, guys. Hey, thanks a lot for joining me. Um, I sure appreciate it. I'm going to go ahead and my hang pleasure. Up now. <laughs> All right. Take care. Bye, guys. Yep, see you. So that's sort of a, a meeting introduction there for itself. If I wanted to start another meeting, I could just come in here and call them again, and it connects right up with people. We have a lot of other features coming down the line. We're really excited about this uh, new meeting feature inside of vSpatial. Let us know what you think, and uh, we'd love to hear some of your feedback. All right. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.